we are discussing questions and answers for AZ104 Microsoft Azure Administrator Certification. You have an Azure subscription that contains a storage account named account1. You plan to upload the disk files of a virtual machine to account1 from your on-premises network. The on-premises network uses the public IP address space of this. You plan to use the disk files to provision an Azure virtual machine named VM1. VM1 will be attached to a virtual network named VNet1. VNet1 uses an IP address space of this. You need to configure account 1 to meet the following requirements. First, ensure that you can upload the disk files to account 1. Second, ensure that you can catch the disk to VM1. Third, prevent all other access to account 1. Which two actions should you perform? Each correct answer presents the part of a solution. Each correct selection is worth one point. Option A, from the firewalls and virtual network blade of account 1 at this IP address range. Option B, from the firewalls and virtual networks blade of account 1, select selected networks. C, from the firewalls and virtual networks blade of account 1, add VNet1. D, from the firewalls and virtual network blade of account 1, select allow trusted Microsoft services to access the storage account. Option E. From the service endpoints blade of VNet1 at the service endpoint. The correct answer is option A and B. Moving to the next question. Your company has an Azure subscription named subscription 1. The company has also has two on-premises servers named server 1 and server 2 that runs Windows Server 2016. Server 1 is configured as a DNS server that has a primary DNS zone named Adatum.com. Adatum.com contains 1000 DNS records. You manage Server 1 and Subscription 1 from Server 2. Server 2 has the following tools installed. The DNS Manager Console, Azure PowerShell, Azure CLI 2.0. You need to move the Adatum.com zone to subscription 1. The solution must minimize administrative effort. What should you use? Option A, Azure PowerShell. Option B, Azure CLI. Option C, the Azure portal. Option D, the DNS manager console. The correct answer is option B. You have an Azure subscription. Users access the resources in the subscription from either home or from customer sites. From home, users can establish the point to site VPN to access the Azure resources. The users in the customer sites access the Azure resources by using site to site VPNs. You have a line of business app named App1 that runs on several Azure virtual machines. The virtual machines run Windows Server 2016. You need to ensure that the connections to App 1 are spread across all virtual machines. What are the two possible Azure services that you can use? Each correct answer presents a complete solution. Note, each correct selection is worth one point. Option A, a public load balancer. Option B, traffic manager. Option C, an Azure content delivery network. Option D, an internal load balancer, option E, and Azure application gateway. The correct answer is option D and E. You have an Azure subscription that contains a virtual named VNet1. VNet1 contains four subnets named Gateway, Perimeter, NVA, and Production. The NVA contains two network virtual appliances that will network traffic inspection between the perimeter subnet and the production subnet. You need to implement an Azure load balancer for the NVAs. The solution must meet the following requirements. The NVAs must run 
in an active active configuration that uses automatic failover second the nva must load balance traffic to two services on the production subnet the services have different ip addresses which three actions should you perform option a add two load balancing rules that have ha ports enabled and floating ip disabled option b deploy the standard load balancer option c add a fronted ip configuration two backend pools and a health prop option d add a fronted ip configuration a backend pool and a health prop option d add two load balancing rules that have ha ports and floating ip enabled option f deploy a basic load balancer the correct answer is option b and c you have an azure subscription that contains a user account named user1 you need to ensure that user1 can assign a policy to the tenant root management group what should you do option a assign the owner role for the azure subscription to user1 and then modify the default conditional access policies option b assign the owner role for the azure subscription to user1 and then instruct user1 to configure access management for azure resources option c assign the global administrator role to user1 and then instruct user1 to configure access management for azure resources option d create a new management group and delegate user1 as the owner of the new management group the correct answer is option b you have an azure active directory tenant named contoso. on microsoft.com the user administrator role is assigned to user named admin1 an external partner has a microsoft account that uses this attempt admin1 attempts to invite an external partner to sign into the azure ad tenant and receives the following error message you need to ensure that admin1 can invite the external partner to assign into the azure ad tenant what should you do option a from the roles and administrators blade assign the security administrator role to admin1 option b from the organizational relationship blade add a add an identity provider option c from the custom domain name blade add a custom domain option d from the users blade modify the external collaboration settings the correct answer is option d our team is working hard to keep the content up to date if you find this video helpful please let us know in the comment we really appreciate if you like and subscribe to our channel